kila mara huku askari mmoja wa NPR akipigwa risasi simba na shule hiyo aidha gavana Lati Lelelit alifanya ziara katika shule hiyo na kueleza kutoridhishwa kwake na waziri wa salama Kithure Kindiki akimtaka afike na kuwapa matumaini wanafunzi na wakazi wa eneo hilo tupate taarifa hii kwa kina Morijo ambaye inaangaliana kila siku inapigwa risasi iko na watoto 700 almost 800 700 and something na watoto wametoka kila mahali Kenya nilipata fursa ya kuongea na hawa na hii watoto ni watu wanapita mtihani they are taking almost all class to university lakini kasi yao kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni ni kusikia mulio ya risasi mimi nataka kualika wasiri kindiki tutembee na hiyo shule ndio tuweze kuweka hata askari karibu na hiyo shule kambi moja ya askari Morijo Secondary School na ukiangalia results ya Morijo Secondary School it's one of the best in the country but vile wanapigwa risasi kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni na fikiria hiyo maneno itaribika kila tafadhali sana hii bandit ni watu kidogo kwa serikali ya Kenya tukuje hapa tusaidiane kusecure shule ya Morijo vile so mimi naomba kama gavana yao because mimi sina askari hii shule iko along Baragoi Maralal Baragoi Highway A road ya Kenya na wanapigwa risasi sasa huko ndani ndani nini inafanyika tafadhali hiyo kitu ndio naomba eh, serikali yetu ikuje kusaidia keeping these students here and the security situation is deteriorating every day uh, if you are assured of security then we'll be very grateful we thank the county government they've given us NPR to protect the students but honestly it is traumatizing as it is currently even getting supplies from Maral to this place it's a nightmare because people bringing supplies keep on fearing because of the attacks that take place even at the roads in this area anybody mentioning Morijo they talk of bandits we want the narrative to change <laughs> Na mbali na hayo mtazamaji Rais William Ruto na 